What's going on guys? It's your boy Rishima, Tim aka Static Boards. Um, I'm redoing an older video. Uh, this needs to be updated. It's been outdated and a lot of people have asked for it. So we're redoing how to set up Unity, get all your grind splines ready to go. Um, in the bottom description there's going to be a link for three things. There's going to be the layer and tag preset. There's going to be the SDK and there's going to be the Dream Tech link. All three of those you want to download them. Uh, stick them in a folder put them away in your documents somewhere in this case for me For this example, I'm gonna just have them right here unity stuff all three will be in the description grab all three of these uh, SDK you can unzip it to just the folder with all this, the cores in it uh, Dream tech and then your layer preset. Those are the three things we're gonna need if you don't have unity I'll take it way back if you don't have unity installed you want to go to Google, type in Unity, obviously, and download Unity. Uh, it's free. Download and install it. You're going to get the Unity Hub. In our case, most of us will have Unity already. Um, you got Unity, you'll have your hub. So we're going to open it up. Uh, don't laugh at the way I name my parks and projects. Uh, because I think they're called something really stupid. Hey, I'm just going to hide. You guys can't even see it. No, I'll show you. It's just like I just named them dumb things. <laughs> A real skate map. Yeah, right. Um, but anyways, if you don't have all this because you're fresh Unity install, you're going to go to installs and you're going to add a version of Unity. I forget what it does. Okay, it pulls up a thing like this. You want to? You don't want the newest Unity. Everybody downloads the newest Unities and they're like, why won't my map work? Why am I falling through? Because you don't want that. You want the 19.4.14. So basically the 2019 4 edition, whatever. This is the one you want. Make sure you get this one. Once you do, you're going to go to your projects. You're going to come up here to new, hit the arrow, and you're going to open a 2019 project. We've got a high definition render pipeline. That's the one you want to go to. Um, we're just going to call this sample project tutorial setup map. Uh, we will put a little legend or something just to show the grinds and everything after they're all set up. But uh, you're going to go ahead and you're going to create your project. This is going to take a sec. Well, that's happening real quick. I'm just going to, if you want to skip through this part of the little, you know, 25, 30 seconds of this video, go right ahead. But I'm just going to model a little ledge real quick just so we have something to test when we get into game. Uh, when, we, when we go into Unity, so you have something to bring. So, for example, this would be your map that you had made or whatever already. Uh, I'm just going to do something really quick here. Oops. There we go. But, um, yeah, it just takes a sec for Unity to build your project real quick. Wow, what am I doing? Um, so while that's going, we're just going to make a ledge so when we go in, we have something to skate on real quick. There, that works. Okay, so that'll be our test skate park to show that everything's working okay. Um, I guess I should have did this, but I mean, it, it shows you to an example of uh, what you would do. You know, you'd save your park and then you would e export the FBX because your FBX is what you're going to pretty much work with with everything. So, but, so we got our park. Unity's still building, so we'll just wait a sec for that. Um, there's our test part. Um, blender, shh, we close this. Okay, so we'll just give Unity another sec. Uh, it does take a sec to put all the assets and stuff that it builds for the example project up. Um, so basically, when we get in, we're going to add everything in that we downloaded from the description, if you haven't already had this stuff. And you're gonna add it, we're going to add it into the project. We'll bring in that little map that we basically just made right now, the little ledge, and we'll set up the grind on it, and then we'll export the map. So basically I can show you the splining, show you the exporting. We'll go in game and play the map, and then you'll see from that point on, you'll be able to successfully 
publish anything that you have made pretty much so now it's up to you to go back to blender and build and build and build and get all your stuff and your map built you know um obviously when the unity opens you're going to come up here to the example assets and we're going to delete those oh, you can just drag this guy up here uh example assets i get rid of the light pro group um and then I leave these guys, main camera, you want to click this, always right away, change this to editor only, because you'll always forget that, and you'll load in your map and your camera's messed up. So change that right away. So now you're going to come down here to your assets. This is where, like, to keep everything, I always make a folder here called uh, models, and, sorry, my mic fell, um, but I put a folder in here called models, and that's usually where I keep all of my models for the park the anything for the park i make assets anything i bring in to keep it separate so i know it's from the outside source um so what we're going to go ahead and do now since we have unity open like this is we're going to open up this unity folder that i have all three of these downloads in and the first thing we're going to do is take the sdk and we're going to drag it right down here and just copy it into the assets and now it's going to make a folder in here where is it skater xl sdk folder and then you're gonna take you're gonna double click dream tech and it's gonna open up the package inside of unity it's gonna show you how dream tech just hit import on everything don't uncheck anything uh, da, 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 da. unity's in my opinion unity takes a lot longer to do stuff than blender and other programs but i have issues with substance painter it takes me a while too to do stuff and like export substance painter but okay so we got our dream tech we got our sdk now this layer preset you're just going to click and drag it right in right in over here um i do that a lot first so i'll click something like the directional light and i'll just click tags go to add tag and then um, in this menu right here, click this little double lines and you'll see your tag and layer preset. It has all the tags and all the layers already made out for everything. So you're just going to go ahead and uh, after you click it, it'll just automatically be there now. So when you click something and you click tags, you see all your tags are there. Um, so now you got your tags set up, your grinds are all set up. Uh, you need to come up here to this tools or no, I'm sorry, you need to go to file. And you need to go to save as, go to scenes, and you want to save, uh, I'm going to call it the sample scene, but you want to save it, and then you got to close it. Now, this is subjective because I have had it work without restarting like this, but I will say this. I've also done this, and I did it without close, saving it, closing it, and reopening it and the sdk tools were not working right and the grind spines were not working right so i would suggest after everything's set up save it back out go back in it loads up right away you know put this guy back up here now you're going to come up here to tools click the skater xl tools window that's here if this isn't here then you don't have your sdk folder down here or something's not right click that and it's going to pull up this window uh, i like to bring this guy over here on this bar um the last thing we need to do is go to package manager oh if it ever opens you gotta go to package manager and you have to type in just put editor or edit will work and you want to come over here and go to editor quarantines and you want to install those. This takes a second, but not too long. There you go. Close that. So now you'll see over here in the Skater XL tools, you have your start page, which will tell you exactly what, what you're going to do here. Oh, it's kind of hard to see it all. There you go. Uh, it'll tell you exactly how you're going to do your grinds. I'm going to show you too with that ledge we just made. It's really simple to do grinds. Um, I did just learn something new 
um, from somebody about making all the obje- all the different grinds one object and stuff, but I still got to work on that before I can really suggest it because I haven't tried it yet. But um, you come here to Grind Tool and you'll see if you ever click Disable Spline Computers when you have a bunch of splines on the map, it's going to mess everything up. So be cautious of that. Um, do this only if you have an issue and you want to erase all your splines and restart. You can do this and then you're going to have to come over here and delete all of your grindable splines. Um, I know because I've done it tons of times. Um, this is just GUI menu stuff. This is uh, different angling for the grinding and stuff like that. Honestly, I tried to mess with some of this and I felt like it messed up more than it helped. So to all their own if you want to try to mess with the angles and all that there's no friction thing here um if you want to do friction on rails i can make a video on it but it comes down to more like uh there's a tutorial on the discord the xl discord that has uh grass friction physics and it's pretty much the same thing but on a rail and you'd reverse it with letting it slide more kind of thing so but i can go into that more later uh and then when you click the third one it's your map build it's going to have where your stuff's going to go uh, your your bundle your scene in our case our scene if we click that it'll be the sample scene and then you would just click build and you'll build your map which we'll do in a minute so since you have all that done now um, you're set up you're good to go your unity set up you can bring your map in start playing around <coughs> do whatever you want um, so I click my models folder I'm gonna come over here and grab the test park that I made real quick uh, it doesn't have texture so it's gonna be white <laughs> bring it in I go zero 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 uh, there actually is one more thing you should always do in the beginning you should come over here right click go to create empty rename it capital S spawn capital P point one word and then change the tag to spawn point and then if the position isn't I always zero 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 it and then I come here and I always bring it I always bring it a little off the floor like that um, because if you have it at zero on the floor the your guy will sometimes clip through it and then he also always faces the blue arrow so he's gonna he's gonna face that way so if you want him to be facing like the ledge, you'd probably, you know, want to move it over here. I know a lot of people have issues with spawn points. I'm not sure why, because the only issue I've ever had is putting it too close to the floor. Um, the, uh, the only other issue you can have is getting stuck in a spawn point, and that's because of a spline being messed up, is what I've figured so far. But, um, yeah, just keep an eye on where you place it. Just place it off the ground a little. I mean, it's not going to hurt your guy to fall for two seconds when he spawns in for the first time. So, yeah. Um, in our case, we're going to turn the direction of light down since we don't have materials. So, yeah, that looks a little more bearable on the eyes. Um, so, when you click, when you want to make a grindable object, like, say we want to make this a ledge. Um, you want to make all four sides a ledge. So you, you have to click the object fresh click like that. If you, if you like clicked it, but then, you know, you clicked off or something or it was blue, what I, it won't work. You have to like freshly click this and you're going to hold shift and you're going to hit G. And what that does is it brings up all the edges that are splinable pretty much. Um, in the XL core menu, the only thing that it's convenient, in my opinion, is the material here. You can change this from concrete or metal for the default. So if you're going to do a park that's a lot of concrete, change this to concrete. Because you can change it after you do Shift G. All you do is click it to disable it, click it to enable it. If you hold Shift, you can change between concrete and metal. And then if you hold Control, you can change between coping and grind. So that, that's, you know, once you learn those hotkeys, I mean, it doesn't really matter, but you have to sit there and kind of go like this if uh, you didn't set it as concrete. So if you have a lot of concrete, do concrete. If you're doing a bunch of metal, do metal. Um, so yeah, w once you have that done, um, you're going to have the object selected again. You're going to hit shift and hold it and hit C. And what that did is that put a collider all the way around it. Now, if I didn't want this to be grindable, I could have just unclicked this when I did Shift-C. 
Now say I say I messed up and I'm like, oh man, I didn't want that. What happened was over here, when I did shift C, it created this grindable cubes. And these are all the colliders. This is each box collider on each side. You could just delete the box collider, but what I would suggest is to delete this whole thing. Delete the whole thing, go back to your cube, unclick what you don't want grindable, and then shift C, and it'll do just your two edges, like that. And I feel like it's, it's better than deleting just one or two because the spline computer is still, I don't know, some people will do just the collider and forget that the, spline, the edge is still there and just, it can mess stuff up. So I would just delete the whole grind you just made. And again, if you have like cube two, cube three, this is gonna change to cube two, cube three to match whatever you do, plane one, plane two. So you can keep it pretty organized. Uh, you can even make a empty grinds and put them all in there. Um, but so once you have that done now this object's grindable this is good to go but you always have to click the object itself and uh give it a mesh collider to make it a solid and then we'll change it to concrete since it's going to be concrete and then the ground will just change it to concrete and give it a mesh collider so there's that now we can go up here to the skater xl core go to map build uh, name it whatever you want to call it that we're gonna call it sample scene uh, click scene and you're gonna You're gonna um, save it first Sorry, you're gonna go to scene first and save your scene Then you're gonna come over here because when you come to scene here You're gonna click this dot and you're gonna open up the scene you just saved and then name it whatever you want Put whatever version you want make sure this is chunk based uh, Put the directory you want to go oh, usually this defaults to your maps folder make sure it's on your maps folder it makes life easier and hit build now it's going to build the map put it in my maps folder for me um i think i have steam open already if not i'll get that moving so now it just built the map i'll show you my map folder is kind of sloppy but what it does is it build it makes a folder in your maps folder called standalone windows when you go in there you're going to see a manifest in the map for each thing um you just want to take the the map right here you could leave it in here i mean i'm gonna leave it in here but i usually you know if you're if it's a finished map you can put it with your maps these are all the new ones i've gotten recently but you can put it with your maps or wherever you're gonna put it you know that kind of thing but in our case we'll just leave it in that standalone folder and we'll test it out I hope this video is helpful this is the updated version if you do the metal and the concrete right all of your sound cues should come out perfect uh, for the layers and tags if you do surface grass or surface wood those sound tags should come out perfect um, the only thing I haven't been able to do is find grindable wood sound like or tags I mean uh, that work so you're stuck with either concrete or metal but for riding on stuff there is grass and wood that works so make you know there's there's all that too um but yeah i hope this video helps some people just understand like how to set up the unity part and get the map in the game because the old one was using dream tech which you can still use dream tech by itself uh the sdk is just way easier and then um you know you got the the SDK now that just you can apparently make everything one object. So say you had this ledge and you had this ledge over or I don't know, there's no other ledge. <laughs> this ledge and this ledge and you wanted them all to grind, you can combine all of them as one object and then do the grind and it'll spline all of them separately is what I was told. So we'll see if that's true or not. Sorry, I'm just killing time. It takes a sec for my maps to load because I have a lot. If you've seen in previous videos, it's it's gotten better. Uh, I deleted some mods that weren't working, so that got better. But Okay, so we'll go into the standalones, and then we'll go to our sample scene. And you can hear it and see it. I just can't skate for shit, but we knew that. It's nothing new. It's hard to see a ledge that's the same color as the ground. But you catch my drift. We got it. 
there we go we got it we got a ledge it works um i hope this video helps until next time guys just keep letting me know what you're getting stuck on what you need help with and i will try to master it as much as i can if i don't know it or if i do know it i will definitely share with you what i know um i do know a lot of people were having issues with the tags if you hear like concrete's working fine like that's there's no metal like if you don't lock on right you hear metal instead like you always hear the concrete so like the tags are working if you set it up properly you do need the dream tech so just make sure it's all good but i hope you guys have a good one till the next one later